Did you get an invite? No. Did not. There you go. It's like you got one. On my phone. I don't have one in my email. But try to join from Google Plus then. You want to do the one... Finger burning? Well, I mean, you don't want to do the one that has the YouTube play thing. You want to do the one above that, I believe. I just see the one. I see the one that says join this hangout. Okay. Try that. It's like I wish even though um, even though um, I wish it would still do HD regardless what alright Okay. All right. Um, and Google Docs. There. No steam. All right. Cool. All right. Um, you ready? Yep. All right. Pod producer. All right, here we go. Let's start this broadcast. All right, we're now live. And let's share. Do you want to share it on Twitter? We are going live with episode. All right. So you retweet that if you want. All right. All right. You ready to do this? Mm-hmm. Make sure I got this level right. All right. Okay. All right. Let's, um, let's do it. You ready? Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. Coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Yet Valentine Podcast. With your finger burning couple, Jay and Renee Valentine.
Today is Monday, April the 9th, 2012. And this is episode 55 in the house. The big hey, five five. Yep, this is another uh, episode of the Valentine cast. And yep. we're here to talk about what we've been doing this week and um, any news for this week and just general stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. And we're here to have a great time. <laughs> and. And like Renee said, just to share our week with you and everything. So, um, what you been up to this weekend? We had a pretty good, pretty eventful weekend. Um, kind of. Why don't you tell them all why uh, you're the finger burning couple before we do this? All right. So, why are you finger burning. So, well, you're the finger burning person. Well, we're one, right? You know, that's what some people believe. So. Some people believe that. <laughs> yeah. But we are one because we're married. But um, what happened today was um, one of the meals that Renee had cooked was a pot roast and um, mashed potatoes, and we had some asparagus left over from a meal um, earlier last week. So Renee wanted some um, asparagus to to grill on the grill, so I decided to you know cook it on the grill. So I skewered it so it wouldn't fall through the grates or anything like that, and you know had it in olive oil and kosher salt. And then I went to go turn it over, and, you know, being the smart man that I am, you know, I used the tongs to turn it over, but they kind of came off a little bit too close to the edge. So instead of using the tongs to, you know, pull it off, mm. I, I used my hand to grab the skewer, thinking, that, you know, it couldn't be that hot because it's only been on, for, on there for like a minute. Actually, it was on there for like four minutes. Right, so... <laughs> <laughs> I, I got I got a little burn on my finger. You probably won't, you won't, like, you won't be able to see with the Google Hangout or anything like that. I was because like, what are you doing? You don't touch metal. <laughs> right, I wasn't. on a grill. You know, I'm a smart guy. and You are. And I was thinking that, you know, it wasn't too hot, you know, because it only been there for a little while. And I think I was distracted by our conversation we were having. Because you don't want time, to come out there. Because time flew by. So, I mean, it was just right. funny. How time flies <laughs> when you're having fun. So now he's all injured. Yeah, I'm injured. I'm I'm all right though. I'm all right. So um, this weekend was kind of full of laziness. Oh wait a minute! What can, what can, what can weekend wrap up? <laughs> this weekend was kind of full of laziness. Uh, you made a remark earlier that having a house makes you lazy. Yeah, it does. I mean, it, and it's not like um. A, a lazy word is like you don't want to do anything. It's just like you kind of want to just relax. You want to enjoy the house. You're just like you've been at home all, I mean, at work all day, and you want to come home and you just want to relax, you know? Yep. So after I've cooked, then we just. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We just chill out. Yeah, I turned the camera over to you to catch you. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. That's so awesome. <laughs> so you, um, we've been laying on our. Awesome couches, yes, up front, and yep. um, that sounds like an awesome plan. Maybe later. Um, so we did a lot of that, and we did yard work, which is the every weekend thing. Jay mowed the grass, and I did nothing in the yard. I played with the dogs. I no, I mean you actually you did the poop walk. Oh yeah, you, know, you did, did the, the poop, poop walk, and you played with them, and you really wore them out. You know, we didn't have to weed eat or anything. I wasn't gonna let you mow, but. Yeah, like you guys were having a great time, so I just kind of. Oh well, I would on. rather mow and play with them. Really? <laughs> Come like, on now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe that. No, oh, whatever. I don't believe that. But um, and then clean the house, of course. I I made a deal with myself. I was like, look, I'm not gonna do any housework on Saturday. Right. But. I have to do housework on uh, Sunday. That was the deal I made. You keep trying to catch me. No, actually, I was taken away from you, actually. Oh, that's, that. that's, that's sweet. Thing. Um, so <clears throat> on Sunday, um, when we got up, we um, we cleaned up. I actually, you know, I cleaned the bathrooms like, you know, I was supposed to. And you um, you cleaned up. I actually made breakfast for Renee while she was still sleeping. I know, that was so sweet. So I woke up and I made um, some muffins. And it was funny They're because... Yummy. So um, Sophia commented how clean the pan was from the muffins I made. And you said that's because of my analness. Yes, it's because of my analness of making sure there was no batter on the edges and everything. That was awesome. 
So I'm gonna make muff I'm gonna make the chocolate muffins tonight so that I'm only gonna have like one, so why is that? Because the chocolate. Oh gosh, really? What so why'd you tell me to get those and you're just gonna eat one? Well, they'll keep. Just put them in the lock and lock. Okay. I mean that's fine, you gonna eat I mean uh, are you saying you're going to eat one ever, or are you going to eat no. one, like, per day, or... I'm just going to eat one in the morning. I might eat two, maybe. I mean, that's fine. Maybe two. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I just, you know, because it makes a dozen, <laughs> and it's like... Well, you can use half of the package. No, oh, okay. I'm just saying there's an option. And a half an egg? Yeah. A half an egg? Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm just saying there's an option if you don't want to make the whole thing. How do you but use half an egg? You mix it up and you only use half of what you mixed up. Okay. <laughs> well, actually, Maybe I should leave the bacon to you on actually, that one. Actually, actually just to uh, make the whole thing. Just make the whole thing. I mean, if, 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 okay. Um, so I like cookies. I can have one in like tomorrow. Right. I can have one the next day. And so this weekend um, was also Easter. Um. Happy Zombie Jesus Day, mm. Happy Easter, Happy um, Passover, and all that other good stuff for everyone out there. Yeah, I did mention since I don't since I don't do the Easter thing, right? I, I get to not be tempted by a lot of Easter candy, so I guess that's the upside, right? <laughs> well, or, and it's also the downside. <laughs> well, it depends. I mean, I mean, Easter for me wasn't always about the candy or anything else. It was mostly about the good food. That you get to eat with family. Easter was candy and food when I was which, there. Which is, you know, we still did get to eat some um, great food yesterday over at the uh, in-laws. Oh, it was yummy. And Jay has become the official green bean maker. That's because they won't allow me to make the ham. <laughs> so I'm, Would I'm you rather saying. make the ham? I mean, I won't make the ham because y'all think um, I can't do it. No, of course you can do it, but you can't do it like my mom. You can't do it like my mom. Whatever. Whatever. Well, then why don't you make ham next week? Make ham. We're going to buy what? ham. You're going to buy ham? I'm going to make it this yep. week? Yep. All right. That's going to go on your meal plan with yep. everything else? Yep. Okay. We'll see how that goes. It was really good. So and so now he's the official one. And it's not just green beans. He puts potatoes in it and, and, and onions. and. Yeah, they were good. And um, Kim made, made um, deviled eggs. And your mom made potato salad. And I made... And your mom also made mashed the uh, sweet potatoes, the ham, and the baked chicken. What did you make? Nothing. What? Nothing. I know I didn't make anything. Why didn't you make anything? Because you were making something. Well, we're going to have to like bring two things now. I know. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Okay. All right. All right. So with that, we're going to move on into... Oh, let me look here real quick because <laughs> you know what? Tech. Yes, we have tech. We're going to go to tech. What? Hold on. That was real low. Technology. All right. So last week in tech and also today. Can today, I say today? Yes. Today I can say today in tech. Yep. So what we have here? Um, Facebook buys Instagram for $1 billion. Oh, no. I'm say sure. it's not so. I'm sure you probably heard about this everybody but um yeah they bought Instagram for 1 billion dollars and the outrage the level of outrage okay so what do you expect because palpable. what happened when Zynga bought um outrage. Oh, oh my god you know OMG pop for draw something outrage and then think about all the people that use Instagram Outrage. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. People are like, okay, that's it. I'm done using Instagram. I'm like, you don't even know what they're going to do with it. Right, right. They might leave it alone. Uh, now, now, personally, I agree with somebody who says, how the heck are they going to make money out of this? Right. And now, I don't think Instagram made a lot of money. Maybe not. But, I mean, those, those guys are set. They can either live the rest of their life, not have to worry about money, or they can make another app. If they right. Make their work. Definitely. Definitely. So that's the big news for for the for those of y'all who didn't know. Um, I don't know. I use I use Instagram sometimes. Right. And and also I haven't used Instagram in in a while. That or path outside of when we tagged our run. Yeah. Well, our walks. <laughs> and I guess the other thing in big news too is that apparently 
um, Netflix um, creates Pro Sopa Super PAC or some kind of pack, and people are kind of getting upset about that um, now. So Sopa was the um, the um, Privacy Act, you know, that kind of was the Pro Big Hollywood Big Filmmaker Act, where piracy and all that other stuff that ripped ripped away our rights on the internet. Ah, uh, but but here's something that says stories about our new pack and sofa are not true. Netflix said that. Mm. That was 41 minutes ago. Okay. So they said it's not true. Well, somebody's starting something out there, and Netflix is getting the tail end of it, and people are like, um, nope, there it is. So I'm looking here now. This is totally not true. I was enraged enough to cancel my service. Fortunately, I hit the Googles first. So if you've heard about Netflix trying to form a pro soap or super pack, mm -hmm. um, like Renee said, which I'm glad you are quick on it, I that know. is not true. All right. Um, they say here, okay, can we kill the story quickly? There's a ton of buzz going around claiming that Netflix has built up a super pack to promote the pro soap agenda. As far as I can tell, this is simply not true. It started from a report in Politico, which mentioned accurately that Netflix had formed a pack called Flick Pack. They had formed it before, oh, okay. but since it's been dropped. So um, it was true that Netflix was basically neutral on soap and knowing that it had to balance this technology side and the fact that it constantly negotiating with the big Hollywood studios on deals. Politically, it it's basically had to take a neutral position, but the company knows better than to out and out support really bad internet legislation. So that is tr untrue. Untrue. So um, that is all that we have in taken with that. We'll get into some media. Media. All right. So you failed this week. Um, but that's okay. We we did fail. We did fail, and it's okay. I mean, it, it is really okay. <laughs> we didn't watch um, any of the three things that we said we were going to watch. <laughs> we did not watch Under Suspicion. We did not watch Three O'Clock High, and we did not watch The Brothers. We did not, but we did watch Rango. Did, yeah, because that was new to Netflix, so we decided to watch that. And we watched a couple episodes of Bob's Burgers. Oh, yeah, we did watch Bob's Burgers. Home video, and we actually found out Hulu Plus came in, to, came in and helped out here mm -hmm. that we missed a couple of episodes of Office that didn't get DVR'd. Sure. So, and also um, um, Raising Hope and, a whole bunch of stuff. and a Parks and Rec. So this was kind of a catch-up weekend for us on television shows because our DVO, DVR was must be on the fritz or something. Excuse me. And so we got to catch up on some TV and we didn't get to watch some of the movies. That's nice. So we casted those three movies back into the queue. Fingers but, uh, crossed that they get pulled <laughs> off. No, nah, I'm playing. Whatever. <laughs> so what do you think of Rango? Um, Rango, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, it was a good story. Um, it, I mean, it wasn't like ha, ha, ha funny. But it, it was it was a good story. I mean, I yeah, was yeah, I liked it. You know, I, it was a good story, you know, and everything. And you know, I mean, it's a Johnny Depp movie, voice acting and everything else. I mean, it I wasn't you know disappointed. I mean, we gave it four stars actually. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was good. It wasn't bad at all. I mean, um, I think I thought the uh, animation was good and all that stuff. So. Right. I liked it. Right. So, um, what else? Um, we we also oh, and we also watched Breaking Two Electric Boogaloo. Electric Boogaloo. Because they um featured that on Film Sack, and we got to hear that, and li I mean, we got to watch it, and then also um, that was crazy. listen to the Film Sack, and it was good hearing those guys, and it was like the camp, the Brian Dunaway and Randy um Jordan camp. You know, they liked it for what it was. Right. And yeah. Yeah. You can't take that movie too seriously. Right. And and you have to you know remember it's 1984 and and you hear us defending it because you know we both you know 
watched it when we were younger and we really enjoyed it. And there's probably some um, nostalgia there that's making us defend it a little bit more, you know? Probably, but I enjoyed it. Um, the acting was was terrible bad. Oh, yeah. The oh, yeah. Was terrible bad, just straight up. But um, they had a young iced tea in there. and Yeah. A lot of it's probably nostalgia. Yeah. And I'm I'm trying to move my stuff to my picture, but am I frozen on your screen in, in Google Hangouts? Well, I'm not now. I thought I was frozen, but it's all good. <laughs> so what, um, yeah. Um, so we also um, started watching, not start watching, but we, um, Kim came over and she had um, our, your, your cousin, mm-hmm. your cousin came over as well. She's a teenager. And we watched a show called um, Secret Life of an American Teenager on ABC Family. Mm. And so what's this your thoughts show. on this show? Okay. I've never seen so many people just talking, around, just sitting around talking about sex all the time. Right. They said, well, you had sex with so-and-so. I know you have sex with me, too. And sex and this and sex that. And I'm just like, okay, kids. And all the girls are pregnant. Yes, everybody's pregnant and this one baby, this one girl's baby daddy wants to get with the other, other the, the other, other pregnant girl, pregnant girl, and it's just it's, it's a it's like an octagon of love. And there's so many guys. <laughs> it's like it was, uh, it was just and too then, much. And then you have the Asian couple that are together. Yeah, they're both Asian, and then you have the two gay guys in right. the entire town. And then you had the one black girl that was with the white guy. Yeah, and she's the only black person in the entire. Well, no, that was the two black. There was the two other two black ones, but I think they were just friends. I don't remember. When they were talking to the guy that had the Down syndrome. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. But it's so weird it's... because the girl that was with the white guy, they was all they did was kiss like half the show. I mean, seriously, they you it was know gross. And I and I hate to see people kissing anyway, so I did not approve. Right, right. So, um. We won't be watching it again, but we are curious, kind of, <laughs> sort of, soap opera wise, as to what's going to happen. Oh, soap opera. See, see, that's the problem. Soap operas will do that to you. So you don't even care about them, but yet you still want to know. All right, and then um, this week, um, game wise, we um, we played a little bit of Mr. Pandera. We did. Um, played a l- l- little bit more. They've made some updates, right? And um, they aren't. Worrying about balancing the class of monk yet? Mm-hmm. It's way overpowered. Right. Um, you were able to make an 85. Yep. Um, monk, and you did that. Yes, I did. I did it. I got too excited. I had to log out. Yeah, and so so, much. so I made an 85 as well, but I didn't really do anything. I was just looking at the abilities, and you know, it was overwhelming seeing all you know all the abilities and like, oh my gosh, this class is gonna be so awesome. To play are stupendous to play. That's for you, Wayne. I always saying I say <laughs> awesome and amazing. It was stupendous. It was stupendous. But um, there's a couple of bugs in the starting area where I can't get out of the starting area. So I may have to oh, that's start. Lovely. I know. So I think I'm going to have to start a, a, a horde, another horde tune that's a non panda to get out because I want to try some of the. Dungeons and stuff, and see how it goes. You know, okay. you know, at, at lower levels and whatnot. But I mean, it's it's pretty interesting and it's fun. And we also started working on getting our rusted proto Drake, with you know, um, Clan of Darkness, Blue Dog, and Aprilian and everything. Um, so. That was fun. Yeah, we um went to Uldor and. I need two achievements. You also need two achievements. Do we need the same? No, we we just need one more. We just need one more. Well, I just need one more. We needed to at the right, time. Right. I, did um, you have the dwarf one already? No, okay. no, I needed the dwarf so, one also. So we we both needed two. And Razor Scale has an achievement where you have to kill twenty dwarves with Razor Scale's breath. And let's just say that took about an hour and a half. Easy. It took a long time. Um, Easy. We finally got it done, though. Oh, yeah. But, uh, so, we only need one more. And that is Yog Saran plus one. So, you only get, Which is, like, like the hardest one. Right. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, once we get that, 
you know, I think we'll be golden. But, you know, we're doing that with Brewdog and Aprilian and um, um, Casey um, Galadian <laughs> went with us as well. Um, and Aprilian was there and Mohalen and 42 and Melindia. Yeah, so it was so, great. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was really fun with those guys. And I forgot to send in an email for Carl. Yeah, <laughs> but I told Aprilian she can listen to the podcast, but we know she doesn't listen, so. She doesn't have time. She doesn't have time for us lowly um, new podcasters. Um, then you have an announcement, um, kind of a retraction from last week. I started playing Draw Something again, but it's what? very limited. Like I'm not going to start games with people. I'm going to let people start games with me, and I still might not play every day. But by saying that, don't you realize... All the hundreds and hundreds of people. Hundreds and hundreds of people that, that are gonna... listen to the podcast, they're going to start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. fine. You'll probably get like two games. Off. And that's, and that's, that's probably, that's probably all. And, that, so, and one, of, one, of them, one of those people listening is me. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, I mean, I like, like, I would like to watch the movies. That Oh, we didn't roll on the movies. We're supposed to roll on the movies after. We oh, well, 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 we keep talking about this. We'll roll, we'll roll before we get into the, um. Um, are you done talking about draw something? I are mean, you, are you done? I'm I'm stuck on one because I don't know what to draw. But so, I have re. But when I start back up, I think it'll restart. So I think I get new options. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. And I'm gonna get into Netflix here, and um everything. So we like to hear from you guys and everything. See how you all doing? You know, it's kind of quiet. It's been quiet lately. Nah, it's been quiet. Everybody's busy doing spring and summer stuff now. Yep. Kids are out of school this week. Traffic was awesome. Yep. We actually stopped and we <clears> had to make a U turn because um traffic was busy on one. Which is weird. Yeah, it was really weird. And then so made a U turn, stopped by the bank to get some money out, and then got to work still on time. That was mm -hmm. kind of crazy. What do you think of home movies? Do you like it? Like I've seen the whole thing. Well, You're just starting. Well, I'm glad that you told me that home movies, they changed from that scribbling line mm -hmm. to Flash. Yeah, they changed in the second season. Because that was, that was really great in my nerves. Oh, really? Yes. See, see, that's the same method that was used in Dr. Katz. It's the same kind of cartoon, and, and it was really good. And um, somebody famous was... Um, was in Dr. Katz. It's, it, it ran on Comedy Central. Dr. Katz, a uh, professional therapist. Okay. And, um... I haven't heard of it. Oh, you haven't heard of it? No. Okay. Yeah, especially if it had the scribbly lines. Yeah, That's it did. A good reason why I didn't hear <laughs> about it. Because Let's see. It ran from... Uh, the, there were 80, six episodes, 81... Uh, Six seasons, eighty-one episodes. It ran from nineteen ninety-five to nineteen ninety-nine. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was in college then, so I mean, I was still watching Animaniacs and everything oh, else. Well, so. I watched Animaniacs too. But they didn't have like scribbly line type thing. I mean, I I think it's funny that a lot of the people don't have noses, and then like some of the the characters yeah. that do have noses are. You know they're prominent characters, and it's, it's really funny. I mean, yeah, and like, and they were onesies. It's funny. Yeah, it, it'll like get even better. Just, 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 just wait if we ever get through it. And we also watched Game of Thrones and Mad Men, which were both amazing this week. Yeah, they were stupendous. <laughs> amazing, Wayne. Amazing. They were stupendous, and I'll say that Mad Men finally was not weird. It kind of cracked me up that it wasn't weird, so All right. I'm glad. So You ready? Get the rolling. We got two movies rolling, we're going to watch. Rolling, rolling. <clears throat> so it's a three, so boom, that means boom, it's boom, boom, boom. one, right? And it's it's odd, what? Odd, odd is one, right? No, odd is zero. Odd is zero. Like, I always, because I think of one is odd, and that's why I get mixed up. No, maybe I should do that for you, but one is zero. Okay, 81. <laughs> 81, 81 is Jackie Brown. Uh-uh. Yep, when an aging 
flight attendants caught smuggling cash and forced to help with an investigation. She hatches a clever plan to make off with the dope. All right. It's Pam a, Greer. A 70s movie. And Samuel Jackson. Nope, it's the remake. Oh, it's the remake. 1997. I'm excited to see that one. Yeah. You should watch that one soon. All right. Um, it's a two, so it's a one. One thirteen. One thirteen. The game. Um, financial genius and cold-hearted loner Nicholas receives an unusual birthday present from his younger brother Conrad, a gift ticket to play a unique kind of game formulated by CRS, Michael Douglas and Sean Penn. What year is that? It is two nineteen ninety seven. That's wow. the year I graduated high school. Yeah, both of them were 97. So, oh, cool. Um, really? Yep. The remake of Jackie Brown was in 1997? Yeah, I told you. It just seemed like it was more recent. Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown. All right, and with that, we are going to head into some food. The fridge is not prepared. Uh. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I was expecting something after the burp for some reason. It's I not like know. this is not the fifty fifth episode or something, but um, <laughs> so we're gonna talk a little bit about the food we did this week. On Friday, um, we went out to lunch, and Renee had a Groupon mm -hmm. for um this pub that we we're gonna check out. Come to find out, it was not open during lunch. Yeah, I was like, oh, I can't believe it. So I said, you know what? This sounds like a perfect time to go to this new taco joint called Taco Punk. So we went to Taco Punk, and what was your first thoughts when you walked in and, and saw the menu? Oh, this is so expensive. <laughs> one taco was like $3.25 for one taco. Right. You get two tacos and a side for $9. Right, and that, that so that's specific. if you get the the bean one, and then the cheapest one was eight ninety five. Is that right? Yes. And and it's all organic and you know local. wholesome and local and which is good, but it's bad for my wallet. Right, and they made <clears throat> and they made their own um, corn tortillas, and I'm not a huge fan of corn tortillas. He doesn't like corn tortillas at all. But these corn tortillas were actually very good. I was actually surprised at how good they were. So, yeah, he, um, yeah, they were really soft and awesome. So it's called Taco Punk. I've been to other various taco restaurants in Georgia where my sister lives. And, of course, like, do you think, and you think the quality of Taco Punk was better than those, right? Is that what you're saying? Well, it was more so about around. Um, I mean, you pay for what you get. I mean, it wasn't. It was not expensive for what it was. Whereas, like, okay, mm -hmm. you know, you're getting, you know, these these, you know, wholesome, um, probably gluten free, right, <laughs> organic tacos. You know what I'm saying? Because it comes to the point where it's like everything you get that's like, you know freshly made in the morning, it's going to be expensive. Right. You know, right. and they have some salad that has popcorn on top of it, if you look at their website. Ew. Like, popcorn. But Ew. In, anyway. But um, so... I don't know if I'll be going back a lot. No, no. I mean, I don't, I don't see myself going back, but we've experienced it. I mean, it's almost kind of like going to Dragon King's Daughter. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Where, I mean, it's one of those... It's one of the three neighbor. It's in one of the three neighborhoods that you know do the whole local, you know, pro local, pro organic. Yeah, Jake you know, says like it was kind of hoity toity like that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, rightfully so. I mean, they have good food here. I mean, I can't, we can't argue about that. They do have good food. They do have unique places to eat for a uh, um, uh, city this size. You know. I think they're on par with like the big district down there in Atlanta, you know. Mm -hmm. And when you put the whole, when you put all three districts together, that's here in Louisville, you know, with the the rich, fa 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 fa, 
you know, hoity toity people on Frankfurt and the 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 young hipsters on um on um <laughs> on Barstown. And then you have the renegade hipsters that you know kind of do the, do their thing on West on East Market. You know what I'm saying? So you know it's all good. Um, and then also we um, Renee made a chicken stir fry. Yeah, that was so, amazing. Yeah, I, so just a thought. So I've been on this kick where I'm doing meal meal planning. We go on Saturday, buy all our food. Like I plan out, I plan out six or seven meals. Right. And so I buy all the food for those meals. And most of the time, I don't even cook all the meals in that week. But it's fine. I just, you, you know, alter my meal plan. And it's easier that way. And, um, I don't know, it's less stress. I know what I'm going to cook the next day. Um, so, and Jay, like, because he can just look at the list. Because, of course, I make lists because I'm anal. He can just look at the list and see what's next on the list for dinner. Right. And, you know, I have to get my time in there where I can um, say, you know, I want to cook today. And you 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 oblige and you let me cook that day. Mm -hmm. um, you even let me in on the Google Doc that you had out there, you know. I mean, I thought I was going to have to fight to get a hold Whatever. of that. You know, because you're like, I'm cooking. The cooking is all mine, you know. I said that. <laughs> really? I said that. Okay. Anyway, so, yeah, I mean, chicken stir fry, it was really easy. Um, I think this is one thing I don't really necessarily need a recipe for. So you got soy sauce, you got garlic, you got vegetables, you got rice. Right. Um, but, it's, but it's a really good, simple thing. You can do it with chicken or shrimp. It's a really basic uh recipe that almost anybody can do. Right. Um, the key is is make sure you, like, because I, I don't have a wok because I'm lazy, but I, it, it works just as well with the pan. And I like it because I make it, like, it has, like, the juice at, at the bottom instead of just being, like, dry stir fry. Right. Um, I do that. So that was excellent. Yep. It was really good. And then um, you made another recipe that was very yummy. It was... um. Brown sugar meatloaf. Brown sugar meatloaf. And the recipe. Sugar brown. Sugar brown. So, <laughs> um, it was regular meatloaf, and then on top you put brown sugar, ketchup, and Worcestershire sauce mixed together. But um, next time I'm gonna put about half as much, make it more of a glaze almost on top, because it was a lot. But um, that was the sweet meatloaf. I want to do a more smoky meatloaf next. Okay. So um, that's the kind I'm going to do. So I'm going to have two different meatloaf recipes. I may do a uh, Mexican-inspired meatloaf. That would be good. You're going to put like green chilies and jalapenos mm -hmm. in there? Yep. And um, some corn? Yep. May oh, I don't know about corn. Why not? Might as well. <laughs> go, go, go all out. Put some corn in there too. <laughs> you know, at least in half of it. And then Jake cooked the next day because he's awesome. What did I make? You made chicken. Oh, yeah. I made chicken all day and I messed up. And you didn't mess well, I should have washed some of the marinade off. And um, one of the things with cooking chicken on a gas grill is that trying to get, you know, try to gauge, you know, with the heat as far as the skin on the chicken, if you're going to leave the, the skin on. And then also on top of that, I had the marinade, which is a little sweet, and it kind of, it, you know, you know, not burns, but it blackens quicker. So, you know, I was kind of a little embarrassed by that. But, I mean, it didn't taste bad. It just looked, you know. Oh, you didn't have to be embarrassed with me. Oh, I know. But, you know, I was kind of like, oh, man, a, you know, grill master's downfall. I didn't want to I didn't want to take a picture of that and share it with everybody like uh, I did with the chicken breast, you know. That's okay, man. But You'll yeah. do better next time. <laughs> and then um, we had Mexican night and we had a corn cake, which is amazing. And then I tried to um, do... I, t I tried to one-up Taco Punk, and <laughs> we have ground chicken tacos, which, do you know what? I've never made ground chicken tacos at home. I think it's gonna, that's going to be my preferred method for chicken. Right. Tacos. Now, it's so good. I will say I prefer ground chicken over ground turkey um, when it comes to tacos. When it comes to tacos, yeah. Okay. It was, it was very good and everything, and, you know, I was, you know, satisfied with that, and it was good having, you know, your great – uh, black beans to go with that. Oh yeah, and, and, some black beans. And and you totally did that, like you said, to try to show up Taco Pump that you didn't have to pay eight bucks for, for bean two tacos. tacos. Yeah. <laughs> so it was yummy. And then of course we already talked about the family Easter dinner that um was really really good. Yep. And then today mm -hmm. um 
um, I think t- on podcast days, which are Mondays, Renee has um, deemed them slow cooker Mondays now. Slow cooker, slow cooker Mondays. So this way we won't have to eat out um, because we usually try to do the podcasts almost as soon as we get home. Um, we um, usually get like heat over or something and bring it home and eat it and then do podcasts. But now right. if I make a meal in the slow cooker, then we can just um, – uh, we can just you know we can eat. just fix the sides and right. come in and, and eat right. So away. I made a slow cooker pot roast. Okay, get this. The, the recipe said three pound pot roast took twenty two hours. I, I thought that was extreme. Now you sure it didn't say twelve hours? Twenty two. You don't think it was a typo? I mean, it could have been not 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 on your part or anything it like that. Could have been. But I was like, there's no way twenty two hours on low. Right. So we went to bed. I woke up. All right. I was like, I'm turning this off. Right. It's 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 done now. But um, so I heated it up that night, and we had uh, Parmesan mashed potatoes and asparagus, and it was so good. It and was my so finger tender. burning expired asparagus. Yep. Mm. And Jay's coworker Danny says he is always tough, but um, I don't know what you're doing, Danny. Just explain to me what you do when you make your roast, because ours was falling apart. Well, I told him I was the slow cooker in the house, really. You were the slow cooker person, mm-hmm. right? Well, I was. I mean, I was. I was a huge slow cooker person. You, you can't say I wasn't. Mm. You can't. Come on now. Who? who I you, was too. Who used the slow cooker the most since we had mm, it? Me. Equal. Equal. Oh, okay. I made the slow, the okay. slow cooker apple crumble in there. Yep. Okay. Never mind my we, pork and all my We are not one and... person, but, but yes, you did use it a lot. Okay. All right. All right. All right. With that, and yes. no, 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 you're not. <laughs> because I spotted one of my family r- recipes out in the wild. And not just in the wild. This thing was spotted in the far east of the, of the earth in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Our good friend and loyal listener, Paul Fox. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Um, he asked me if I had a recipe for macaroni and cheese. And not macaroni and cheese, just elbow macaroni and cheese sauce. That's not macaroni and cheese. That's not the kind he was talking about. Um, And I actually did. So I gave him a recipe. He posted pictures on it. And he said that was the exact southern taste he was looking for. So I did post that on the the Valentine Cast website if you want to try some southern macaroni and cheese. Yep. That is on there. And um You should um you know, if Paul's pictures are public, you should add those into the show they notes. Are public. So that he can um you know, we can the 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 spotting of the of the macaroni and cheese from the Crocker legacy um made its way to the far east. East meets south. East meets, east meets Kentucky. <laughs> you know, so um, with that, we're going into some odds and ends. Odds and ends. All right, so guess what we're doing tomorrow? Guess Somebody's what we're excited. doing tomorrow? Oh, two people are excited. Oh, you're probably not excited because you're, like, you're probably like, oh, fe, 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 fe. I've been to a Blue Man Group concert before. <laughs> I've done it before. Is that really how I'm like, really? Fe, 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 fe. You're going to love it so much, Jay, because I've been before. <laughs> I think I'm more excited than you <laughs> because the the fact that I've been. No, I'm excited. I'm pretty doggone excited. I mean... I see these guys like on PBS. These are like wherever I can watch them, I usually watch them, you know. And I'm really excited about it, you know. And we're up in the front row, you know. I don't know if I'm gonna wear nice clothes or if I'm gonna wear clothes just to um, be should, ready. You should be ready, just so, in case. So um, I'm I'm going in my probably a t-shirt and some jeans and. Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to go see the Blue Man Group. Blue Man Group. Um, just a second. I need to come back in the hangout. My pages have become unresponsive. Well, you're still talking. Um, here. Oh, do you do you see me? Yeah, I oh, see okay. you moving Perfect. and everything. Then my screen doesn't matter. Right. Um. So yeah. So Blue Man Group. I'm really excited, and um, I cannot wait. Right. For you to see them. 
I'm super excited, and we gotta eat dinner downtown tomorrow. Yeah, we got to be pub food. So I, I think I'm gonna do a review of the pub food for Snap Post Vlog. Oh, for the um, the one you got the group on for. Mm -hmm. All right, cool, cool. So, so I, have to, I have to remember to take plenty of pictures. And speaking of Snap Post Vlog, um, we uploaded two um two videos um this week. Um, one was uh on Saturday Rise. morning. Yeah. Which yep. was um five for five for the things that we missed about apartment living. Mm -hmm. And then the other was um the Mr. Pender review. Yeah, yeah, we um, talked about what we liked and what was exciting. So Yeah, so check those out. Right, right. So um da 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 da, da. Wow. That's a show. That's a show. Man. Woo. What's going on? Well, you're going to have to give the goodbye information because I can't see it because my pages are all messed up. You don't have it by memory? Uh, if you would like to contact us, you can contact us at valentinecast at gmail.com. The valentinecast. The valentinecast at gmail.com. Uh, you can can uh, reach us on Twitter at ValentineCast. Right. And Jay's Valentine's Jay's Twitter feed is the Cowboy T H E C C A O B O I. My Twitter is the Ice Flow. Uh, and if you want to see <laughs> our blog, you can go to <laughs> ValentineCast.com. And if you would like to call us, leave a voicemail on our Google Voice. That number is four one five seven five V cast or 415-75-82278. Oh, another show. Down the road. Well, that don't sound right, does it? Probably not. So, do you think I should always let the music play all the way through? Yeah, or, yeah, sure. So sometimes I wonder if people get tired of... Guess what they can do? They oh, can... use this left. Oh. You can well, come on back in. Good. Well, it's the end of the show. But okay. I'm here by myself. That's okay. You can be independent. You can't wave at the people when we say bye. I'm curious to see how we we'll act also if you were to jump back in. So uh, come on back in to the hangout. Hold on. Well, on my, I got to kill all these Google pages. Hold on. What was it? Shockwave flash that died? Yeah. It was, oh. it was a Google Talk plugin that died. Oh, man. I'm telling you. Flash. Always screwing up stuff. It's not working, so I'm, I can't come in. Oh. Oh, tech, you let me down today. Well, you know what you can do? All right. You can come around here, and you can wave everybody over my shoulder. That would require me getting up. You want to get up? No. Okay. I don't blame you. Well, all right. All right, guys. I'm about to get up out of here. Bye. So, the Valentine cast at gmail.com, and you'll find... This live show recorded on my YouTube, which is youtube.com slash L-A-B-O-Z-Q-E-C. That's Labaz Cake. But um, we want to say hi to everybody. And also, um, great job to Veronica and Brian Brushwood on the Game On video cast yeah. they were going. So, um, sorry to see them go. Um, that's one of the things about having big numbers are, I guess, with a network that wants big numbers and costs all that money for production. So, that's why we do it for a hobby. And we talk to you guys later. We love you. Bye, and everybody. See you next week. Peace.
You can talk, son. You can talk. You may speak now.